In this skim tutorial, we'll be making splatter brushes. So go ahead and create a new image and set your height and width to the same thing. I'll be using 600 by 600 pixels. Also make sure your background is white. And grab your paintbrush tool and change your brush to the default sparks brush and increase the scale to about two. Then open up your brushes dialog. If you don't already have this open, you can go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Brushes. Then increase the spacing to the max. Next, go back to your Layers dialog and add a new layer. Then brush around on the layer with your Sparks brush. The reason we increase the scale, or the uh, spacing I should say, is so that while you're brushing around, your spots won't be so clustered together. But you do kind of want it to be um, more clustered up in the middle, but the edges should be kind of more spread out. So once you have your canvas relatively filled like this, go ahead and decrease the scale down back to one and brush in some smaller spots. What I like to do is brush smaller sparks like this onto and around these bigger spots. And as you can see later, this will help make it look kind of like little splatter pieces splattering off of the circular splatters of paint. And if you want, you can go ahead and decrease your brush scale even more and add some even smaller spots. You'll definitely want to experiment with this a couple times until you get a result that you really like because there's a lot of variation that you can um, get depending on how you um, brush these sparks. So I think that's pretty good. Next go to your layers dialog and click this box to lock the alpha channel. Then grab your paint bucket fill tool. Make sure your foreground color is black and check this fill hole selection item. Then click on your layer to fill it in with black. Since we lock the alpha channel, then we don't have to worry about any of the transparent areas getting filled in. Next, go to Image, Flatten Image. Then, um, we don't want all this fuzzy gray stuff around the edges, so go to Colors, Threshold. You can adjust this to add as much or as little black as you want depending on what shapes you want the splatters to be. So somewhere around maybe two-thirds of the way up it should probably be pretty good. Um, then just click OK. But now as you can see the edges are very pixely which we do not want or at least I don't want maybe you do but um, if you don't want that then go to filters blur Gaussian blur and leave this set on 5. So that got rid of the pixeliness, but that's too blurry. So in order to smooth it out, we're going to go to Colors, Levels, and move these two sliders towards the middle. So you can see how that affects the um, fuzzy edges. So if you move these all the way together, then you'll get these pixely edges again, which is not good. But if you leave them spread out a little bit like this, then it'll look the edges will be smooth and yet still sharp but not too pixely. So you can play around with it until you get the exact result that you like. That's basically it. This is your splatter brush. So now we're going to save it but first we need to go to image autocrop image. That just gets rid of some of the extra white around the edges of your brush. Then go to image mode grayscale. 
The reason we did that is so that um, when you save brushes in GIMP, if you leave it set on RGB mode, then GIMP will automatically assume that you want to use the colors of the brush itself. So for example, the um, default pepper brush in GIMP has its own green color automatically assigned to it. So when you brush on it, it'll use that color even if your foreground color is set to black. But if you save your brush in grayscale mode, then GIMP will know that you want to use the colors of your foreground color, not the colors of the brush itself. So that's why we did that. So then you can change your foreground color to something else and use that color for your splatters instead of always black. So next go to File, Save As. And you want to save this into your GIMP brushes folder. So usually on I'm using Windows Vista, this is inside your username, then GIMP 2.6 and brushes. So you can just call this whatever you want. Splatter 2. And you want to save it with the .gbr extension. It stands for GIMP brush. And you'll get this little pop-up window and so you can just call this whatever you want. Like a splatter brush. Just click save. Okay then you can go ahead and close this image and open up a new image if you want to test it out. First you'll need to go to your brushes dialog again and click this button to refresh your brushes. Then you should be able to find your brush that you just made in here. So you just click it and use it like you do any other brush. So you can see it's pretty big. Uh, which is good if you want to use it for like a YouTube background or your desktop on your computer. But if you want to, you know, make it smaller, then you can use that for like maybe an avatar or something. And since we saved it in grayscale mode, then you can change your foreground color to something else like this. And it'll use that color instead of always the always black. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.